Road is the only neighborhood in Auckland where there is a clear culture. People who are into creativity, who are into arts, who don't want to be judged, who want to just be who they want to be, feel really comfortable in K Road, and it's really clear. In every other part of the city, there's just your everyday average people, but in K Road, there is a clear, I don't know, like dress code almost. Unique, individual, creative, totally out there say almost like hipster, like emo sort of dress look. High road culture is you could wear a paper bag and no one would blink an eye. It's special, it's quite a pop culture and yeah, it's very unique. It's an eclectic culture. There's a lot of variation, a lot of difference, a lot of um, self-expression maybe. not to be happy when you're surrounded by such beautiful art and colour and amazing clothes and glitter and goddesses. It's a lot of fun. It's really good. <laughs> I love it. I love camera. I like it how it's kind of just a little bit um, rugged. It's diversity. I like people watching here. Up shopping, the fashion. It's kind of got its own sort of character, its own sort of feel. It's more edgy than anywhere else in Auckland, I guess, and the sort of people that you see here are a lot more interesting. There's no other street like it in Auckland. K Road is the only part of Auckland that really has a distinct culture. There's so many different kinds of people that come together and everyone sort of just accepts everyone else and you have the freaks and I love that. <laughs> I mean one of the, the epicenter is St Kevin's Arcade and that has in it a mixture of very sort of upmarket garments in a place like Children of Vision where you're paying $450 for a scarf through to Auntie Mavis's vintage aprons in the vintage store for sort of $25. There's a lot of shops that have been here for quite a few years. For example, Vixen, which is across the way, she's been here for about 12 years. And the fact that she's still relevant today as much as she was 12 years ago um, with second-hand clothing, that's pretty special. K Road is a really creative kind of area. It's also kind of quite an up-and-coming area. There's lots of galleries, um, and it's, it's quite diverse. So you've got the galleries, and then you've got kind of the... Um, the seedier kind of um, side of K Road all kind of coming together, which is what I really like about it. It hasn't been too cleaned up or too gentrified, it's still quite raw. But there's, there's a huge history to the whole area, like um, I get so many people that come into the arcade where we are that have come here when they were like, you know, little girls and it was like a, you know, it was a way out from the city to like the department store and the department stores that were on K Road as well at the time. So everyone has stories about K Road, um, whether they're good or bad kind of add to it being iconic. When I was a child and growing up into my teens, um, it was one of the places to shop. If you were going into town, you would shop uh, Queen Street or uh, K Road, Queen Happy Road. The heart and the soul of K Road would have been George Courts. People would go to K Road to go to George Courts mainly. George Courts was a, a general store catering for school uniforms um, and probably catering to the middle class um, economy. The thing I remember most about George Courts from a child's point of view was the, um, the elevator um, custodians who would stand in the corner of the elevator by the door and announce each floor as you went up to the you know, first floor haberdashery and men's clothing, second floor women's clothing and underwear and so on and so forth. That's what I remember most. Architecturally, the quality of the buildings I would say is good but run down and if they were uh, maintained and upgraded it would be a lovely place to, to shop and I just hope that they're not pulled down as they have been in Queen Street. I hope that the integrity of the buildings remains.
over time. Like, just look at Ponsonby. Ponsonby was grimy 10 years ago, and now it's super upper class. Like, that's just part of city development, unfortunately. I think people that lived in K Road for a long time will see it as a negative thing, but it doesn't need to be. That's just life. It's development, like, it's globalization. Like, that's gonna happen. So you can either accept it and have fun with it and nurture the art side of it, or you can be better. All urban centres change over time. And when I was your age, K Road was actually a Pacific Island community. It's just a natural process. Areas evolve and change. Um, generally, when an area gentrifies, you get more and more big companies coming in. But effectively, it's getting more residential base, it's getting more arts and more cafes. So I guess to some degree it could be heading to a bit more of a Ponsonby style area. Because of course I lived in Ponsonby when it was like Cape Road. I think, you know, no matter what, say the council does the street, it's still going to have its, you know, like the feel to it, depending on whoever's using it. Unique. Interesting. Eclectic. <laughs> it's outrageous. Interesting toilet Interesting. seat. Awesome. Organised chaos. Interesting. Inquisitive. Alternative. Creative, maybe. Wizard sleep. Wizard, yeah. You'd have to be sort of pretty boring or pretty conservative not to come into K Road.